Hi, babe. Have you seen what's what's been floating around? Yeah, it's stressing me out. It's stressing you... me out, too. I have no clue who could have possibly thought that it would be okay to tell my personal, intimate business to a blog. It's haywire. Without it having come from me directly, it looks so much worse and it looks like there's all this like conflict and it like that's just not the case, you know? Yeah, totally. But the good thing is it it just happened today. So there's still room for you to release the statement today and it doesn't look bad, you know. I just don't think we should wait on it any longer. You know, I know that we talked about this inevitably happening, but, you know, I wanted to be the one to be in charge of it. If I'm gonna tell everybody how my boobies be leaking and stuff like that, I think I should be able to say, hey, my marriage is ending. Seems pretty logical to me. I've been trying to get in touch with Michael and I cannot reach him. Yeah, I tried to call him too, and he's been going straight to voicemail. So I know he was on the plane to Vegas earlier, so my texts weren't being delivered, but now they're being delivered, no response. And yeah, no, and then when I call, it does that dun 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 dun, the caller you were trying to read. I'm like, what is going on with this man? Like all the stuff I'm seeing, they're praising you, but they're definitely demonizing Michael, and I know that that's not what you want. Ugh! You mentioned that you all went into your dressing room, you and, my, and Chris. Yeah. And you were uncomfortable. Right, correct. So what exactly made you uncomfortable? I'm in a room mm -hmm. with a man that does not belong to me. Right. And the door's closed. Right. And so I asked him to go outside, and he immediately did. That's it. And I thought you should know. So you're saying that he suggested that you all go talk in your room? Yes. Because he said that he asked you to talk and you suggested that you go no. to your room. I said, Giselle, can we talk? And she said, yeah, let's go to my room. So she suggested going to your room? 99% sure that that's how that went down. And when you got into the room, he said, should we leave the door open? But there was nobody in there. Right. So I even suggested leave the door open. I don't need anybody, you know, suggesting anything else, right. you know, happen. She was like, yeah, I don't need any rumors like that going on about me either. I don't recall, recall him saying, uh -huh. if he said that, then he knew this was inappropriate. That there implies some sort of malintent for you to say, well, Chris knew that no one was in the room and he still lured me. I didn't say lured. It, that's the intent. I didn't say that he word. He lured me Candace. into the room to talk to me. Do you believe that he had malintent? I don't know, Candace. It is as simple as I do not want to be in a room with a married man. Chris is maybe doing things that he feels comfortable with, but the ladies don't. OK, Miss Mia. Hi. Well, I would love to talk to you if you have a minute. Yeah, of course. So <laughs> this is what cancer, no cancer looks ah. like? What does this look like? Is this cancer or no cancer? This looks like I've arrived. I have a question oh. for you. Did you talk to her about her social media? Yes. I mentioned it to Mia that you all had a lot of questions, and I told Mia if she wanted to answer these questions, great. Do you not mind answering? Of course. I mean, I answer questions always. I'm very transparent. Like, so, you guys. Speaking to you honestly, reading all of your social media, mm -hmm. part of it you changed. Like your first po post you edited. Mm -hmm. It seemed very, look at me, look at me. I need attention, I need attention. When it's just like, Mia, girl, you know, I, I didn't think you were that girl that needed attention. I that know. Oh, so sure. then why? Hello. So then why? I'm How sorry. Are you? Hello. 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 How are you? You look beautiful. I miss you. I miss you. Y'all were like, y'all were like serious. So we're talking about her social media posts. Oh. I was saying, as your friend, I want to let you know that it seems extremely like, look at me, look at me, I need attention. You telling me I need to call some guy and tell him I'm coming to town? Maybe that's how you and your husband play? Yes, yes absolutely. We don't play like that. Period. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 too close to me, too close to me. No, I don't think that you should have thrown a drink and I don't think she husband, should be talking about your husband. So you and your husband can go other women and men. Oh. Oh. What boss throws drinks? 
I'm TMZ yeah, right so now. We have... What's up, y'all? Okay. I'm That's confused. It's my birthday. So what's Wendy? You got one more f***ing time. Oh, they got this. They Oh, look at the CEO. Look at the CEO. This is just like some ratchet sh so I'm in the f***ing house. I'm going to beat the f***ing sh out of her. Oh, my god. None of these bitches are real. They're all fake. No one's loyal. Everyone's literally trying to panhandle their little businesses across town. And nobody gets a about these hoes. These hoes. All these hoes. No one is loyal. Everyone. What? Everyone am is panhandling their business. Yeah, you're done. That, that's as much as I needed to share. Like, why? Be specific. Yeah, I, I Are will. you talking about? I will, if you allow me. Everyone. I, I do appreciate the ambush. This was very nice. That's not one an person. You said it. This is me, nice. myself, and I. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's not an ambush. Yeah, it is. But I wouldn't have said it on my live if I didn't mean it. To quote the ancient African proverb, I said what I said. But it's very shocking to see someone who I thought was a friend attempt to shame me. Like, you're not going to shame me, but you are going to show me who you are. And I am looking, and I'm seeing you differently. If everyone is out for themselves, why are you here? You were the only person that I would say is loyal. But after this, I don't know that I could say that anymore. For me, I'm a little confused by the statement. Where did this come from? Child, let me tell you something. Dr. Wendy has never been a panhandler, OK? I'm glad Robin was sitting on the toilet and saw this one. And honey, your face cracked because you're busted. So thank you, poop number two. <laughs> when Andy Cohen asked at the reunion, we were all in white, were you and Juan open to a threesome? You said yes, right? I never said that. What are you talking about? Robin Mila from Baltimore wants to know if you would ever consider a threesome with Juan like Katie suggested. Hell no. I mean, <laughs> you got to keep it spicy, right? <laughs> Told y'all I like Juan. <laughs> so then we all go to dinner, and I said, hi, Juan. How you doing? Juan proceeds to take me in his arms, squeeze me so tight my breast went back to my vertebrae, <laughs> and says to me, I want that you to funny? be, I want you to be the number three in the threesome. <laughs> Go away! Shut up. Now, and I, 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 I don't care. This is why you're sitting up here making lies. This is why you don't, don't like me. Can you tell them why you don't like me? Because your man does. How about that? The <laughs> <laughs> delusion <laughs> continues. Right, Tris? Delusional. I don't do that with that Check, please. Check, Check, please. Check, please. So, Juan wants to you, Karen. Is that what you're trying to say? No, no. Ridiculous. He did touch me. He did make me feel inappropriate. He touched me. And I never. Okay. He touched me. Me, honey, he ask me to be you? number three in, the, in your relationship. Okay. You can't Let us be I, I very real. I mean, I, I can't confirm or deny that, but whatever. I believe Robin is mad with me because she knows that Juan was attracted to me. I'm a beautiful woman. Karen did tell me that one of the husbands hugged her inappropriately, and it took her a very long time to get past it. I had the same experience with another husband in this group. He pulls me into him and squeezed me so tight, my breast went back to my backbone. I kid you not. That's uncomfortable. That's touching. So I just assumed it was like Michael Darby. For ah! Juan, how are you, babe? Good, good to see you. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. I mean, her ego, I said before, was like on 25 million. You just blown it out the wall. Woo! <laughs> so honestly, at this point, we are oil and water, and I am fine with that. Okay. So. Giselle, your turn. Ditto that. Um, also a little bit of a ditto with Mia. It's like. Uh, you went on a Giselle I hate train for a year. Then you see me and try to hug me very fake and phonally. Hi, Giselle. Look, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. No hugs. No hugs. How you doing? Oh, I'm beautiful. Good. So, I'm good on you. Okay. Do you hear that? I heard everything you said. With Robin, you said that we are oil and vinegar. Water. water. Oil oh, and vinegar sorry, go sorry. together. Oh, okay. Oil, oil and water. Oh, okay, sorry. So, I own the role I played in making you feel as though we are oil and water. 
Well, okay, yes. Can I say, I just want to say, because Robin has been specific with the ways that she feels she oh, wait. was hurt by you. I can only you. speak to this, though. Well, okay, so... And Don't nobody got time to be writing a soliloquy in a but, sermon. But Robin, you, you know what Robin, you did you to her? Say... Good God. Okay. Just speak on it. She said, you gonna own what you did. What you do? Well, she needs to tell She her. needs to tell me. Please don't tell anyone I tried to fight you anymore because that is not who I am. I heard that you said you felt like Robin was trying to fight you. She was approaching me. And if you approach me to the extent that someone has to physically restrain you, then yeah. yeah. Please be careful okay. in your words because that is dangerous. It's, it's dangerous you're, you're for you to be held me back. As a th I was not it's, held back. You were held back. Maybe you were so drunk she you don't held. remember. She was you not. were held back. Okay, so we are going to move I forward. Like Why are we moving forward? Let us move Nobody on. Nobody had to. Ash, let's just dispel that one. At that, least. I'm not gonna dispel it because that's my truth no, to talk about. No, that is about. not your truth. It's that's a lie. Truth. No it's one had to touch me. I'm not a thug. I don't put my hands no on people. No one called you a thug. You are exactly. projecting on yourself. Okay. I'm telling you, by you telling so people that I tried to, to fight you, you next. that's painting me as a thug. You're next. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I need, I need a moment. Sharice is on the phone. I need everyone to be quiet. Sharice. Yes, love. At the dance studio, did yeah. you put one finger on me to prevent me from touching Wendy. Stand down. 10 toes Give me down. Everything I say, I stand on. I'm standing Period. on it. I'm okay. standing I'm and standing I still on stand on it. Please. I'm standing what you're not going to do, I'm what you're not going to do, do is I'm right here. Now, thank you. Okay. I love you too. Bye. So why the lies? My truth, the lies. your truth. She just Yo, said you are she didn't hurt Robin. You are horrible. You why are you yelling? Because you are horrible. Maybe you should because control you, your emotions.